Okay, everyone. This is going to be my attempt at teaching you how to solve the cube, the Friedrich method. Um, it's very hard to learn via video, so you may have to watch this video over and over just to get it. If not, I recommend you picking up this book, Speed Solving the Cube. It gives lots of information, and most of my information from this video will be based on this book. I will give the link in the description on where you can buy this book. Alright. So, just like with any method, I really suggest you know how to solve the cube already. Uh, and you can solve it around 45 seconds to a minute. Um, with any method, you start by solving the cross. Normally, on the regular, I think it's the layer by layer method, they have you solve the cross on the top and then you flip the cube over onto the bottom. It's not really the fastest and best way to do it, but I suggest you learn how to do the cross on the bottom and do it on the bottom so you can immediately go to your first and second layer. Cross is something people overlook, but you really gotta be able to get fast. During the inspection, that's really all you need to look at. Just look at only the cross. If you can look at more, that's great. But only focus on the cross. I'm going slow, but I can do the cross pretty fast. So that's really all you want to focus on the first part. You want to focus on doing the cross. You practice the cross over and over. But practice doing it in the bottom phase. So you don't have to, in the middle, solve go like that. Okay. Next is the first two layers. In the traditional method of layer by layer, you would just put in each corner piece like this. You would find the corner, uh, you go like that, you would slot it in. That's not really sort of the right spot, but that's not really the most efficient way. What you want to do, you want to create something like this. You want to get the corner piece you need with its corresponding edge piece. So instead of just putting in the corner, you put in the corner and the edge piece at the same time. You want to be able to do the first two layers at once. So right here is the green, orange, and yellow, orange, and yellow. They're not connected correctly. They have to be like flushed together. So you want to separate them and both in the top layer. So now that they're both in the top layer, you can do, you really just got to work around with it and see how you can do it. Like that didn't work either, so. All right. So you don't want to always have your pieces connected. You want to find a slot you can hide the corner piece in. Move it away. So now they're separated. And this will probably be the most time consuming part of your entire solve. It'll be the recognition and learning how to just figure out how to place the pieces around. And once you're able to do that fast enough, you can start getting much faster times. No, um, I just messed up my cross, hold on. Alright, you always want to make sure you don't mess up your cross, because if you do, you're messing up everything. Orange and white, and orange and white. Right there. Alright, right there I made that pair. So what I want to do, I have it above the spot it needs to go, and here's the pair. So I'm going to do L prime, U prime, L. And that grabs it and brings it in. So now I have two slots done. I just have to worry about the back two now. That won't work because both yellow is on top. Yellow would have to be down here and red would have to be up here. So I think this trick, no, that trick doesn't work in this case because it was in the wrong spot. Um, this piece is in the wrong spot in relation to here. It has to be over here. So I'm going to take it over here, hide it, bring it over like that. And I just hit it, and then it's done in the right spot. This is getting very dull very quickly. Here we go. Alright, so now the trick hopefully should work. Nope, and it doesn't. But yeah, you just gotta work around like that, trying to get pairs. There's numerous ways you can do it. It really just all depends how fast you can 
recognize a pair and slot it in like that. And I just slotted it in without its cross piece. Okay. So then the last piece right here made the pair and inserted it. Um, it's pretty intuitive. And I messed up my cross again. God. So basically, you know, just messing up my cross a lot, but you want to be able to get that down the first two layers. You just really want to practice on that for a while before you start doing anything else.